All right, welcome to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie map on Gary's Mod. Oh, this place is sick! Yo, this place looks awesome. So, yep, that's right. We finally have a proper interior Five Nights at Freddy's movie map on Gary's Mod. So, if you want to check out this add-on for yourself, it'll be linked in the description below. Oh, look at this place. This place looks fantastic. So, uh, let's go ahead and go on a tour of Freddy Fazbear pizza when you first enter Freddy Fazbear's pizza you are greeted by a giant welcome sign in the welcome entrance hallway but before we can actually go into Freddy Fazbear's pizza we got to go over to the front desk so over to the left we have the front desk you know we got the cash register and I'm pretty sure that's a popcorn machine over there man I want some Freddy Fazbear's popcorn so over here is where you can pay them some money so that way you can go inside and you can also buy some packages so let's see what type of packages they got uh, available at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So, token packages. Uh, package number one comes with 40 game tokens and one souvenir cup. It's only $2. Okay. Uh, package number two is 60 game tokens and one souvenir cup for $3. And uh, package number three comes with 120 game tokens, two souvenir cups, one t-shirt for $4, and there is the best deal ever, the best deal ever, 300 game tokens, four souvenir cups, two t-shirts for the price of 69 Oh, 6 9 bro, that is, that really is the best deal right there. Game tokens, no cash valuable, non-refundable, man, okay, that's classic Freddy Fazbear right there for you, non-refundable. All games operate on tokens or quarters, oh. All right, so um, there's also a little waiting bench off to the side if you know there's other people in line and it's taking a while, you can go sit in the the dark shady corner why is the, this corner is so dark just just imagine you walk into freddy fazbear's pizza you turn and you just see some creepy figure just you just see purple guy just sitting on this bench just staring at you in the corner this is a kind of creepy corner but hey at least there's a poster in here that kid looks like he is running for his life i'm sure he's probably fine so there is also a ton of posters around this pizzeria so we do have some posters in this main entrance area first of all we got this poster right here of two kids eating a big old slice of pepperoni pizza at freddy fazbear's pizza then we have this one of a girl. Time to party like there's no tomorrow at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Oh, isn't she having a fantastic time at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? It looks like that kid in the back isn't though. <laughs> that, it looks like it looks like Purple Guy just walked into the room and that kid sees Purple Guy, but she hasn't seen him yet. She's like, yeah, this is fine. He's like, oh, we're gonna get murdered. So uh, yeah, so there's some posters scattered around the pizzeria. We also have this little sign right here of Freddy Fazbear and the gang. And before we can actually go inside of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza before we can pass the main welcome entrance. We gotta see if we're tall enough to get into Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yes, that's right. You have to be a certain height to enter Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So let's go over here and let me see if I'm tall enough. <laughs> Check first. You must be any height to have fun. Yay! So you can be any height to enter Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yo! All right. So now we are moving on to the main area. Oh, I absolutely love the lighting of the main area. Oh, this is definitely my favorite room on this map is the main area. So we have the dining area. We have the show stages. We have the arcade area. We also have the kitchen area and also the private counter oh this is looking fantastic we even have all the drawings from the movie which uh these drawings are kind of blurry but um Oh, that, that drawing's blurry, but I, I, I remember that character right there. That character. Somebody needs to burn that piece of paper right there. If you know, you know. But uh, anyways, so yeah, so this is the main area. Where should we start first in the main area? I guess the dining area first. So the main area is covered in different types of chairs and tables. There's also some booths as well. But one of my favorite parts about this dining area is the stained glass of all of the characters. Oh, this looks fantastic. Fantastic. When I first saw this, the stained glass characters in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer, I absolutely loved it. But being able to see it in Gary's mod on a proper map, oh, that is just fantastic. I love the detail of the stained glass. So we have Chica, 
we have Bonnie, then we have Freddy, and we also have Foxy. So there is all of the four main characters on stained glass behind all of the different types of booths that you can sit at to eat some nice, delicious Freddy Fazbear pizza. So again, the stained glass is definitely one of my favorite parts of this map right here. Oh, I just love the detail on it. Um, also another fun fact though about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie map is in the center of the room, there's actually a skylight. So right now it is nighttime, so the nice beautiful stars are out, but there is a nice skylight in the center of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So whenever I see this, I'm reminded of Security Breach. If you guys remember, when you go into the entrance of Security Breach, there's one of these skylights on the roof of the Pizza Plex. So oh, I just absolutely love that detail. So anyways, we also have the nice beautiful carpet. I gotta say, I really love how the edges are outlined with tiles, but then the actual center is carpet. I absolutely love that. So it actually feels like more like a, a Chuck E. Cheese type place, but still having the tiles that represent Five Nights at Freddy's we all know and love. But anyways, over here we have the prize coin in which there's no prizes, unfortunately, over here. I mean, we got this this, this little wholesome doll and we also got a nice little cup, but um, other than that, all the prizes have been sold. But again, you can decorate this map in any way whatsoever. So if you wanted to, you can put a bunch of Freddy Fazer's plushies on these shelves. So anyways, um, we also do have this giant prize sign above the prize corner so that's a nice little detail right there but over here we have this let's eat sign and this right here is the kitchen so this is where you would go up order some pizza and they would set it out right here and that way you can take it to your table so let's see what's on the menu um okay menu is a little blurry but we can read something so uh, we got some prices we got freddy's pizzas we got Chica's Wings. Yo, we can eat Chica's Wings. So, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different selections on the main menu. Ooh, I want some I want some food. Also, right here, you can actually open this up. So, uh, if you wanted to actually, like, jump through the window, you know, I'm, I, I, I know everybody has a child. Whenever they see one of these windows, they have the sudden urge to jump through it. Well, you can jump through it on this map right here. So uh, you can open and also close this little gate right here. So that is a nice lovely little detail right there. But anyways, moving along on the sides, um, we have the restrooms over here. So these ones aren't labeled. So uh, you can go in any restroom you want. So you know, the restroom is equipped with a toilet, a sink, a trash can, and also a mirror. I, I can't see my reflection. I think I might be a vampire, but it's the exact same in this restroom over here. And I think I'm a little, I'm a little too thick to fit through the doorway but again this one is equipped with a trash can a toilet and also a sink as well so uh that's pretty much it for the restrooms you know restrooms are nice and simple but now let's move over to the main part the stages oh so we have foxy's pirate cove off to the left side and then we have the main show stage where freddy bonnie and chica will be singing and dancing all night long oh this is fantastic so there are little steps you can walk up on the side to get on the stage but how you properly get on the stage is through the back which i gotta say this is an amazing detail so when you're looking out from the front you see the nice brick wall in the back but there's actually different ways to get off of the stage so you can actually walk behind the stage for some back scenes and actually properly walk off the stage so again, I absolutely love the detail that's been put into this map right here. I absolutely love that. So anyways, guys, now's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the one, the only, Freddy Fazbear to perform, because it's showtime, guys. All right, let's hit it. Wait, what happened? What? No! The showtime button doesn't work! I wanted to see Freddy Fazbear dance! Why doesn't the showtime button work? No! Oh, man. Yo, yo, that's a pretty... Guys, that's a pretty good Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 1 reference right there of the showtime button not working. <laughs> I want to see the showtime. Anyways, um, let's move on. So over here, off to the right side of the stage, we have some arcade machines with some posters of the main four characters. We have a Bonnie. He shreds. Then we have Chica. Let's see. Freddy. Take it away. And finally, Foxy. Arg. And moving along, we have the arcade right here with a nice little vent beneath this claw machine. Going into the arcade, we can see that there is a nice little claw machine right here. There is a air hockey table in the center of the arcade. There's some more arcade machines in here. And we also have the beautiful ball pit in the corner, which you can jump inside. So the one thing that this map is missing, which I wish it had, is the little slide. So normally what you could do is climb up this thing right here 
and it go down a slip and slide into the ball pit so we need that in a future update but i don't know how that's gonna fit because that would have to be a pretty big slide for our player model to fit through it but uh anyways so yeah here is the ball pit right here i gotta say it looks pretty fantastic also another really cool detail about the arcade is over here with these right arcade machines if you guys remember in the finance of freddy's movie whenever abby is running away from foxy she actually hides behind the arcade machines and there's actually a little gap right here that you can hide behind the arcade machine so i think that is an incredible detail right there that you can actually hide behind the arcade machines like abby does from foxy in the actual movie so that's a very nice detail right there but anyways moving along the final main thing of the main area on this map is all of the drawings right here on the wall so we have all these drawings made by kids and obviously right here in the center we have is the spring bonnie drawing with the five missing kids so uh, we have all the little drawings right here on the wall so i think that is incredible but anyways behind the drawings there's actually a little um arcade area right here so this is where some broken arcade machines and also i guess you could say spare tables and chairs are stored right behind this wall right here so uh, that's a uh, that's interesting right there i never knew about that but uh yeah there's a nice little empty pocket right here so if you wanted to store something back there you are more than welcome to but that is pretty much it for the main area on this map now before we do move on to the other rooms on this map i do want to point out that all these tables and chairs are props so if you wanted to you can remove all these tables and chairs so that way you have a nice open floor that way if you wanted to recreate the fort scene in the uh, finest freddy's movie whenever abby mike schmidt vanessa and all the animatronics are making a big old pillow for in the center of the pizzeria so if you wanted to you could just uh let's just say hey i'm gonna grab this arcade machine and uh let's say i wanted to clear the floor so all i gotta do is just move all this stuff out of the way so excuse me coming through it's time for a pillow fort get all these tables and chairs on out of here it's pillow fort time get on out of here we making a big old freddy fazbear pillow fort all right we don't need these tables and chairs where we're going yeah that's right that's right get this stuff on out of here there we go perfect there we go oh i just realized out of all the stained glass characters i broke foxy <laughs> that's pretty poetic since foxy's out of order but again you can move all this stuff around why that arcade machine is just levitate oh it's stuck to the light um i'm sure it's probably fine so another cool detail as well is that the lights are actually movable so you can actually have them swing from side to side oh that's a nice detail right there oh look at this place the place is haunted it's haunted all the lights are moving so i think that's another Another incredible detail right there is that the lights are actually movable but anyways now that i have destroyed the main area let's go ahead and move on to a different section so uh first of all we have this nice little gray door off to the left side and if we open it up this takes us to the night guards hallway so in this hallway there are five actually no there's technically one two three four five six there's there's six doors in total so one of these doors goes to the main area obviously uh the door off to the left side actually goes nowhere because i don't think we actually get to see what's inside of this door in the actual movie but there is a door right here but it's locked at the end of the hallway we have the exit door which this would go out back on the outside of the pizzeria then right here this door is the security office so if we go into the security office oh here we go we have the main desk right here with the celebrate poster we have a nice little clock above to let us know when it is 6 a.m and we also have this mirror over here that says it's me on it oh we also have the vent we have the lockers where mike gets his security guard outfit from we have the tv off to the side where mike listens to the training tape for the employees and we also have some shelves in here as well there is also a special little button in here which we are going to come back later after we complete our tour of the freddy fazbear's pizzeria so uh that is pretty much it to the security office again i gotta say i love how there's a bunch of props in here but again if you wanted to you can remove all these props and customize this office in any way whatsoever so anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next area so if we go through these big old double doors right here this actually takes us to the garage of the pizzeria so this right here also goes out back as well this is pretty much the scene where the um what is it called the robbers break into freddy fazbear's pizza so they go through this garage right here and they're 
coach with all their crowbars and then they go and destroy everything so this is the room they enter into so right here goes to the night guards hallway then we also have some other hallways over here but this room is pretty much just a nice little storage room just has some props in here but through these doors right here this actually takes us to the kitchen so in the kitchen the kitchen actually has a ton of ways to enter the kitchen how many different entrances are there for the kitchen there's one two three four five six there's six entrances to the kitchen why is there this many entrances to the kitchen so for the kitchen there are three different places that you can enter the kitchen from from the main area so that goes to the kitchen that goes to the kitchen and this door goes to the kitchen and there is also a door that goes to the night guards hallway and there is also the door we just came through that goes to the garage and this final door goes over to the back hallways which we will move on later but first of all let's go over the kitchen area so in the kitchen right here obviously we have the opposite side of the nice little service area where they serve their pizza then in the kitchen we actually have all the stoves the, some shelves where pizza boxes can be stored we also have the fan right here in the background which I gotta say this is fantastic there's a shot in the finance of Freddy's movie um, whenever one of the uh, robbers one of the people who break into Freddy Fazbear's pizza they go into the kitchen and as they're walking towards the fridge because the fridge is shaking and moving around because there might be a mr. cupcake inside in the background you can actually see Chica walk past this fan through this hallway right here so that is a, a incredible detail right here that the fan is installed on the wall right there but anyways in the kitchen obviously you know you got some fridges you got some storage you got more shelves you got more of these containers and um you know it's pretty much looking like your average kitchen so uh that is pretty much it to the kitchen right there but again i gotta say i absolutely love the fan right there in the back so that is a incredible detail anyways i think it's time for us to enter the back hallway so if we go through this gated door right here we go into the back hallways oh and so we can see into the kitchen through the fan right here but again these back all oh, these hallways are creepy this is creepy so we have the back hallways right here of the pizzeria and the first room we have on the left is the supply closet so this is where bonnie will hang out in the supply closet and uh he definitely does not murder somebody inside or anything like that because why would bonnie ever do that you know so uh, here's the supply closet you know nothing really too interesting we got some shelves we got some boxes we got a mop and there's also a vent in here as well so uh, that's pretty much it to the supply closet you know nothing really interesting in there but it is included so that is perfect anyways if we keep walking this door on the right leads back into the kitchen then if we keep on walking down the hallway you know it's pretty spooky um all right so over here we got some more doors so we have a door at the end of the hallway we have a door to the right and a door to the left so the door through the left is actually a storage area and this is actually where we get to see the ella animatronic for the first time whenever mike and vanessa walk into this room ella will be on laying on the floor in this corner over here also we get to see this room a second time in the movie after the spring locks go off in William Afton's spring bonnie suit the animatronics drag spring bonnie into this storage room back here so I guess you could kind of say this room kind of acts like the safe room in the five nights at Freddy's movie but anyways this room is just pretty much filled up with boxes and shelves because well it's a it's a storage room what else would we put in here so um that is pretty much it to the storage room right there but if we go through this door on the right this actually takes us to the main stage so this is how the animatronics will actually walk off the stage because you know that's a pretty big that's a pretty big leap yo if freddy fast was trying to walk off the stage you would fall on his freddy fast nose so what the animatronics do is they walk off the stage you know we also have pirates cove right here and they would walk down these steps and boom this is how they can start roaming around the pizzeria through these big old double doors right here but there is also a, another way off the stage so if we go to the right side of the stage obviously there is a brick wall behind the scenes and and if we go this way this actually takes us to the parts and services room and obviously this door over here links us back up to the back hallway so here is parts and services so in parts and services there is another garage in this room there's also a big door right here which leads to the main stage but there is a hook a ladder a bunch of shelves obviously we have the torture freddy chair right here so this is where you would get strapped in when a torture freddy fazbear is getting lowered onto your face and uh yeah that's going to be super lovely but anyways this is also the room where all of these spare suits are stored like sparky and shadow freddy and this is also the 
same room where all of the uh, robbers get stuffed into the suits. Also, another thing I really love about the parts and services room is these super high up shelves. I think that is an incredible detail right there. Uh, I absolutely love the parts and services room, but the, honestly, that's pretty much it though, because you know, it's just shelves and boxes, you know, just some good old Freddy Fazbear storage stuff. But uh, again, with this map, you can decorate it any way you want to. You can fill up this room with animatronic suits and animatronic heads and parts. So there's a lot of different things you can do on this map. But anyways, if we continue moving on, that is pretty much it to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie map. So we have explored everything that there is to see on this map. So there you go, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie map. So again, if you guys do want to check out this map for yourself, it will be linked in the description below. But before we move on to the other add-on I want to show off in today's review video, there's one more thing we need to show off on this map. So if you guys remember earlier, when we entered the security office, there was this little button right here. And if we press this button, all right, the power goes out. Oh, this place is creepy. So there is a light switch back here, which is actually just a button, but in the actual movie, it's a lever. Um, but over here, we have a nice little button that turns off all of the lights in the pizzeria, but there are a few lights that are still on. Like all these lights are now pretty much just dimmed. Oh, the atmosphere, all oh, the fog. So now all the lights are turned off. Oh, this place is creepy. Oh, look at this place. So this is what the place looks like without all the lights, but obviously there's still some lights that are on like the show stage lights and we also do have all of these signs still lit up as well also we have the lights over here in the ball pit which that is just oh this is so creepy just just seeing the pizzeria like this oh and like all the fog effects too this is just creepy Oh my gosh, but anyways, if we go through the back hallways now that all the lights are turned off, yeah, these hallways are just super dark now. Oh man, now, now the night shift has truly begun. So with this map, you are able to turn the lights on and off as you wish. And if you want to turn the lights back on, all you gotta do is just press that button again in the security office. But oh, this place is creepy. Oh, with all the lights being super dim. Oh, this is just creepy and disturbing uh let me see what the kitchen looks like what is the kitchen oh oh, oh, oh yep nope i do not want to go back here and grab a slice of pizza oh no that is that is too creepy for me that is too creepy for me but anyways there you guys go that is everything to show off on this map currently but i am assuming that this map will be getting some more updates in the future so feel free to explore this map for yourself but anyways now that we have explored the freddy fazbear's pizza map the only thing we are missing is a night guard man if only we had a night guard to work at freddy fazbear's pizza that would be fantastic oh i found the night guard i found the night guard all right so next up we have a mike schmidt player model yep that's right guys a proper mike schmidt player model has been added to Gary's mod. Oh, this guy is beautiful. All right, here, let me go set up a camera so that way we can get a proper look at this guy. All right, here we go. Let's get a proper look. Oh, Mike Schmidt. Oh, look at this guy. So here is Mike Schmidt. And honestly, I kind of like this version of Mike Schmidt because obviously it's pretty hard to model humans. Um, But this Mike Schmidt right here, he has a bit of a cartoony vibe to him, which I actually really like. So here is Mike Schmidt. How's it going, Mike? Schmidt. Where? Where's Garrett? Where's Garrett? What did you do to Garrett? Where's Garrett? I will find you. Where's my brother? Where's Garrett? I'll trade you my sister for my brother. Where is he? Where is he? So anyways, here is Mike Schmidt. So Mike Schmidt is equipped with his security guard vest. And if you want to, you can actually remove the security guard vest. So there's actually two different versions of Mike Schmidt. Obviously, there is the security guard version of Mike Schmidt, but also in the body groups you can remove the security guard vest so where mike is just wearing his good old green long sleeve t-shirt <gasps> where's garrett you still haven't answered my question where's garrett where is he we can also spawn mike schmidt in as a ragdoll oh how's it going mike schmidt you doing good you doing good there buddy and another cool thing with this rag
ragdoll is he actually works with the faced poser tool so if we go ahead and select him on the face poser we can go ahead and modify him what is that face what is that so this ragdoll is compatible with the face poser tool so that way if you wanted to make him have a certain expression i'm scared what is these faces man what are these faces oh no mike schmidt i'm sorry buddy i'm sorry what have we what have we done to our boy mike schmidt so yeah so you can customize his face in any way whatsoever how's it going mike you doing good buddy you doing good buddy i think mike is mike is mike is concerned mike is concerned isn't he buddy oh uh, okay hi mike oh now he's sad he's like oh is that it for my add-on yes that's pretty much it to the mike schmidt add-on but hey i thought this guy was perfect to show off alongside the five nights at freddy's movie map because well mike schmidt is from the five nights at freddy's movie so again i actually really do like this mike schmidt ragdoll so if you want to check him out the add-on to him will be in the description below and again you can spawn him in as a ragdoll or become him as a player model but anyways that's it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy i really like both of these add-ons and i highly recommend getting the finance freddy's movie map and also the mike schmidt player model both of these add-ons are fantastic in my opinion but thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time bye D -d did you guys leave a like on the video i want to know where's my brother where's my brother